hell's going on? <laughs> Look who's here to read us the riot act, Ivy's former lover. So, uh, would you tell your men to unblock the road so we can go home? Forget it. <laughs> Take the back road over Farnham Bridge. What, are you serious? There's miles out of my way. Now you tell your men to let me pass. You know, I always knew you were scum. I just didn't realize how low you could sink. <laughs> Probably about as low as your house, the sea fake chief bandit. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to bust yourself. Not with both of you women here tonight. <laughs> just for the record, Chief Bennett, I hope you're not planning on marrying Ivy to get your mitts on the cream fortune. Because she's not going to get a dime. <coughs> Strike a nerve, Chief Bennett. You getting ready to dump the little lady for the sexy blonde? I wouldn't do that if I were you. You're not me. Oh, I'm surprised that you risk your livelihood for a moment's pleasure. I'd kill you with my bare hands if my daughter niece went in that house. I realize that you're in the midst of some personal difficulties this evening. But let me remind you that the Cranes oversee the board that runs the Harmony PD. One word from me and you'll never wear a badge again. Pig. You're gonna waste another second, aren't you? You're not gonna let him get away with that, are you, Willie Bear? Don't walk away from me, Bennett! Not if you value your paycheck. Wait, oh. There's no way you're going in there. I've got you! I know! Save them! Listen! Ethan! Ethan! Listen! Are you crazy? You're not gonna save anybody. You're gonna get yourself killed. But what about Miguel and the girls? Look. We've got enough heroes out there. You don't think I want to go in there and save Miguel and the girls? You listen to me. If we find a way in, we'll go in there. Drew is suicide. He's a bastard. Luis, that's enough. I'll take it from here. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but I'm in charge here. Whatever life and death decisions are to be made, I'm going to make them. Do you understand? Now, it's bad enough that Miguel's in there with my daughter my niece. And I'll be damned if I lose a son to me. Damn it! Listen, the hey, listen, I know how you feel. But it'd be suicide for you to go charging in there. You hear me? Oh! You saved him again, Sam. You saved our son. Ivy, you got to get back. You're too close to the house. I don't think anybody... But you could have stopped him. You know, Ethan is very impetuous. And, and he's never had any real fatherly guidance. I would have stopped anyone trying to go through a wall of flames. Ethan was very brave. He wasn't thinking clear. I just kept seeing Teresa's face. She's so frightened for her brother, Sam. Thank you so much for saving him. Look, I don't care what you say. I owe you for this. See the way Ethan looked at you? He's really starting to think of you as his father. He's realizing that there's more to family values than money and power. Ivy, I need you to stay back. Grace, look, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, right? I saved Ethan for his sake, not Ivy's, right? She means nothing to me. No, Sam, you might honestly believe that, but I know better. Grace. Except, you know, what's important is the kids. Tell me what we're going to do to save them. I wish I could. It's going to take a year. Yeah, what are you doing? You can't have me go home big enough for us to get out of there. The only hope we've got. Be careful of the fire. <laughs> You hear that, TC? The kids are trying to make an opening from the inside. Look, maybe if we go through down there, we can meet them halfway. Yeah, let's get next. This is it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. we're coming through from the other side. <laughs> something doesn't want us to get through. We gotta do something. The house is gonna blow up any second. Let's go. Cool. 